Good evening. I am on the East Coast. There's people down on the beach. Yeah, quite a few people. It's nearly six o'clock at night. Right, come from up that hill. That's Bridlington over there. Still people on the beach. And I'm thinking round about here. No, the high tide probably doesn't come up this far. Should be okay. One beach shelter. Check. One beach chair. Check. Extra tarp. Check. One beach table. Check. One thermos of tea. Double check. So I am just sitting here in my chair with my thermos of tea. I shall cook tea soon. There's still people wandering the beach. So I won't set up my bedding till later. But I have my shelter in case it rains. And um, tide's on its way out. It comes back in at four o'clock in the morning. Sun rises at half past five. I will set my alarm, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> Slight breeze at the moment. It's feeling quite warm, so that's good. Probably a bit colder when the sun goes completely down, but for this time of evening, it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Right, for tea tonight, I'm having cheese and broccoli pasta. I don't usually eat, eat pasta, but... It's very difficult. Um, with some pork and mushrooms. First I'll cook this. And I'll cook the pork and mushrooms and mix it in. Still the hordes of people walking down the beach. Anyway. It's 20 to 7. I'm going to start cooking my tea. Put my gas fire over. the burner over there. This table was a little bit wobbly. I wouldn't trust it with a gas burner on it, unfortunately. But anyway, see I've settled in. <laughs> First order, I need to mix some milk up. I'm using my little container to shake, shake, shake it. And there's the sun setting over in the west. Because I am on the east coast. There you go, Mike, and it's 7 o'clock at night. Can't get away from them. There's a whole beach and bay. But no, they have to stop right in front of where I'm pitched. Well, I have the pasta is sitting in that pot there. I've boiled some water from filled, made another thermos of tea. Now I've just got the mushrooms on, and once the mushrooms are cooked, I'll put it in with the pasta, and then I shall cook my pork and put it in with the pasta and we'll see if I've got something edible or not made me pork I had it marinating in a Chinese uh, marinade <laughs> looking good looking good And that is dinner. I would say that is ready. Maybe a little bit runny, but probably added too much water to the pasta. But never mind. Spoon will soon sort that out. Time for the buddy banner. I put some citronella in this one. I know there's a few flying insects around. Oh, 
Oh, it's just gone nine. And um, there's some nosy people walking past. <laughs> Got your buddy Bruno going. It packs out a bit of heat though, it's quite good because it's getting a bit cold actually. I'm waiting for his bloody late night beach walkers to disappear. I'll get uh, some warmer clothes on. But yeah. Put a few drops of citronella in that one. I've got another one as well. I'm not sure, uh, I'm still drinking the tea. I did bring some hot chocolate with me, but I don't know if I'll have that. I might do later if I'm still awake. But uh, got some nice uh, sunset pictures. Oh, I've got more people walking down the damn goddamn beach now. It's nearly dark. Go home. The lighthouse is going off uh, on the corner of the peninsula there. Yeah, you can see that. The town over there is twinkling with the lights. I don't know if you've got to pick that up on the camera. And there's the people walking down the beach. <laughs> well, what looked a very isolated place when I was trying to look it up. There's only one little tiny little down there caravan site. <laughs> Uh, oh well. I'm here. I'm not going I'm anywhere. It'll be dark soon. I can wrap up warm and go to sleep. Yeah, I don't know if that you can pick that up or not. Oh yeah, I can see it now. Well, it's all twinkly. So they're walking back on the beach, they come up off the ledge and walk straight past my camp. I tell you what, I'm glad I brought this. It packs out some heat, this does. It's now, hmm, oh, it's caught to ten. Got my sleeping bag inside me bivvy bag and um, I'm going to put a head net on tonight. There's already moths on the phone and trying out this new pillow. Rolls up into a ball, it's got a little case in there. I think I got it from either Aldi or Lidl, but I thought I like a in between my neck and my shoulder so I think that will work out quite well I'll head net there I hope I'll be um, warm enough it's only a very light sleeping bag that one but the bivvy bag's usually quite warm oops and I'm trying out this mat one of those uh, accordion fold up ones nature hike El Chupo on uh, was it AliExpress? Only because I have a lot of trouble with um, with my blow-up mat inside my booby bag. It gets all twisted up because I turn around a lot. So I thought I'll try that one and I'll put it underneath the. I won't put it inside the booby bag. But uh, that's me mess. I have to pull the light out. <clears throat> put it outside to draw all the bugs that have flown in there because of the light but uh, there's the town over there and there's another one over there and that's out to sea not that you can see anything but yeah I'm just uh, I've made a cup of tea so it's not too cold, I've got my merino top on and my puffer, cheap puffer jacket I got from Asda. So obviously it's not as warm as like a down jacket, but 
it's comfortable. Um, comfortable, should we say. Slight chill sometimes. Oh, I'll tell you what I've got while I'm on here. This is a power pack, but it's also a hand warmer. And it gets damn hot. Right, so let me put the power on. That's just on for charging. Oh, it's only got two lights now. And if you push it right on, see the red light comes on. It is now a hand warmer. And you can up the heat like that. But I tell you, just on the low one, it uh, gets quite hot. So just pop that on for a couple of seconds. Yeah couple of minutes probably and switch it off but uh, yeah so I've come quite a way out of the shelter but it's only ready to cover my head if uh, as long as the rain doesn't come blowing if the rain doesn't blow in this way I'll be all right <laughs> yeah it's only a thing to, so I can have my stuff shoved inside as well it's the thing if you go out in bivvies you um Got to be extremely organised and have everything packed up all the time. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far this mat is really uncomfortable. It's far too hard. Right, it's uh, nearly 3am. I woke up really cold. God, this sleeping mat is really uncomfortable. It's so hard. Um, the moment it says it's 10 degrees. But anyway, I've, uh, the orange. Yeah. I've, uh, got a space blanket now. The fingers look cold. I can't believe it's 10 degrees. It's, uh, it is cold. And tide, another hour, tide will be in full. You can really hear the waves now anyway well good morning <laughs> um, it's about five o'clock in the middle of the blip night but oh dear me what an uncomfortable night. <laughs> oh, the mat's so hard. And it's cold. Fancy waking up to that. It's only gone an hour since full tide, so I'm going quite far. Sun's coming up. I'm gonna try my first time lap soon. Good morning. It's just gone half past five, and it's cold. <laughs> Didn't get much of a thing because of the um, cloud. There's a little gap in the sky. I've tried time lapse, I'll we'll have a look before I bung it into the video. Yeah, I might actually look at something before I put it on YouTube. <laughs> so honestly, I usually don't, I just bung it on. Anyway, look how calm that sea is. Pack a few things up in my cup of tea. And uh, I'll see if I feel like cooking. A bit cold at the moment. Right, I'm all packed up. It's quite early in the morning, but I want to get off the beach before a whole lot of people start coming down. Um, yeah, so nice way to uh, end the summer. I haven't been able to get out much. Dummy beach camp. Oh, won't be using that sleeping mat again. 
going to be a nice day so far anyway. Uh, and that's about it really. Yeah. Definitely need to get me a, get me a proper sleeping bag though.